There are some serious problems going on in Virginia prisons right now. I get letters and emails from guys inside, as well as from friends and family on the outside. Some institutions are more or less back to normal. They go on the yard. They have access to things they're supposed to have access to. Other places, they're still on lockdown. Some places are so short-staffed or just vindictive that guys aren't getting time outside, or they're not getting time outside of their cells, or they're not getting showers when they're supposed to, or if they do, the officers are being especially vindictive and turning off the hot water so fewer people want to take showers. You have phone systems going down and video visit systems going down, so guys can't contact their family. And in places those systems are working, they're only getting half an hour outside of their cell, so they have to choose between making a phone call or taking a shower. They can't do both. Then by only letting people out at a certain number of time, you're increasing the number of fights and the number of conflict because guys have to compete for the phones and compete for the showers. This creates a scarcity complex where violence and intimidation are the only ways to talk to your family and be connected to the outside world. So those who don't use those tactics then have no outside support. So these are the habits that we're building in people before we release them into the world.